breakfast. Our guest today, he's the hottest name in town right now. Everybody wants to hear from him, and we want to do it right now. At least let's start a little bit. The Director of Public Prosecutions, Nurdin Haji, in the house, the man of the hour. And uh, DPP, I want to play you a little soundbite of you a couple of weeks ago at the Corruption Conference, where basically, actually, let's listen to the soundbite and we'll get to it. Monica, what you got? Those people that we have charged to step aside. They must step aside. And that is in the Constitution, and it's a right that we have to ask. We are not pleading. We charge you, you must step aside. And we will go all the way to the Supreme Court if we have to, to get that ruling. Hakuna kubembelezana. When you steal from us, the hospital money, loans money, development money for all this country, what do you think you are? You are not better than that terrorist you are battering there in the Dusit and other areas. Wa akuna kubembelezana. You were very animated that day. Was I? Um, you were. I was just emphasizing on uh, on um, what should be happening. Yeah, yeah. And yet nothing happens. You can well, shout from the mountain top all you want. Nothing happens here. Nobody resigns. Well, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I talked about stepping aside, uh, which is not necessarily resigning. Yeah. But stepping aside and waiting for the processes to be complete. Uh, and that happens once you're charged, not before. The issue of, of resigning before, yes. that's going to be a moral issue sure. that, that people have yeah, to decide. And we have no morals. Well, DPP, let's face it, who resigns in Kenya? Who resi who's the last person you remember resigning? Martha Karua as minister in Kibaki's government. But she resigned, did she? How many years ago? The last one, DPP. Look at these names that are thrown around all over the place. Nobody's resigning. Nobody cares. Well, then I think there's something wrong with our society. Yeah. And um, we need to reevaluate our morals. Um, and, and that's what we are asking. Um, so the war on graft or corruption it is much more than what people think. Um, we need to relook at our values as a country and yeah. our morals um, and the standards that we want to, to place. When you look at, what yeah, we ask. DPP, when you look at some of the numbers being thrown out there, does it boggle your mind? Are you, is your mind as boggled as ours is? Because these numbers, it's like, it's like monopoly money. Billions well, here, billions well, there. Yeah, it is, it is mind boggling and uh, very sad. Uh, because I think as a country, we're a very wealthy country. Um, but unfortunately, um, a lot of it is being wasted. Um, and even when, I'm not tr justifying, you know, the stealing. Yeah. But even when they do it, um, they, you know, the money is not properly utilized. Um, so like in some, some of the cases we're trying to recover, there isn't much to recover. Because? Uh, because people have either... Um, Wasted it in 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 in, <laughs> in um, ventures that are are not viable. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but th but that's the saddest thing. And uh, and also noting that you know it's not about twenty percent or ten percent. Mm. It's a, we're talking about people taking you know over seventy to uh, you know hundred percent and not getting value for money or anything out of out of what they've taken. Does that frustrate your job? Does it well, make it more frustrating? It is, it is frustrating, but we can't give up. Um, we, we have to do it. Yeah. Um, and, uh, um, we have to soldier and ensure that um, uh, we, 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 you know, uh, let me not use the word eliminate, because there's no country that doesn't have corruption. Um, all of them, if you're to look into, if you're to look to America, yeah. um, you know, Europe or Asia, corruption is there. Uh, but um, they're, they're at manageable levels in the sense that they do not eat to the very fabric of, of the society. It's not as systemic as it is today in Kenya. Yeah. DPP, I'm going to take a break. Come back. Plenty more ahead, including some people out there. The political landscape is very noisy. There's some people who think that you are going after certain individuals. I'm surprised. That's what they're saying. They're saying, you know, especially supporters of some party or some individuals are saying, hey, this guy is coming after us. And, and this is why I came with this small file here, because I don't want it to look like um, 
you know, just coming out of my head. This is um, our statistics. Accused persons by ethnic tribes. Um, Embu, Embu, as in people from Embu, yes. five. Indians, 15. Kalenjins, 46. Kambas, 31. Kikuyus, 141. Kisi, 37. Luya, 29. Luo, 56. Masai, 2. Meru, 16. Samburu, 1. Somalis, 16. Swahili and uh, struck me, Jikendas, 34. Turkanas, 3. I, so, so I, who, I'm who? still like Kikuyus, how many again? 141. <laughs> <laughs> But, but uh, so who am I targeting mm. out of this? Mm. 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 I don't know. You tell me. And this is just from April 2018 when I came in. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's great. <laughs> That's good to know. And, I, and, and I'll give you this if, if Please, you want to Please, I would it. love to keep that. And, and it has the ODPP logo. Wow. Um, and yeah. you have the names there, all the names of the individuals. Oh, nice. Yeah. Monica, Embu, your people, five. And I, I had a, I had a hunch you'd probably ask that. <laughs> you did well so done. That's why I, came <laughs> I love it. Fire. Okay. So and and plenty more. This damn thing, man. This damn thing. Is it seven billion? Is it twenty-one billion? Is it sixty-five billion? Don't answer now. We'll get back to you in a moment.